Why do embalmed bodies sometimes feel hard to the touch? Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. Today we've got a question from Tina Grunst. Hi Tina. Hi Tina, how are you? Why do embalmed bodies sometimes feel hard to the touch or firm to the touch? Um, yeah, we've had that question a few times before and I think we've answered it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But it is something that's interesting because you often talk about embalming. Yes. And I guess that's the part of embalming that people will experience, feel, uh, see. Yes. yes. Yeah, I think she asked that question because her niece, her, uh, sorry, you lost your niece very young, I understand in that question, felt really firm when she went to view her and touched her skin, so it was really hard um, to feel. Now, I can tell you the reason why that happened is the strength of the embalming fluid. Now, when we embalm a body, we have um, different chemicals from different companies, and some chemicals are stronger than other chemicals. And we also have to have uh, what we call index and percentages, which I'm not going to go into all the chemistry of it because even though I've done it and I've passed my course, I still I know what to do. But talking about all the chemistry is way beyond me. But to have bodies preserved at a, um, a certain percentage, which is the higher the percent, the firmer the body's going to feel. And the longer they're preserved for. And the longer they're preserved for. Exactly right. I learn things. You do. So say, I don't know if your niece was being uh, buried in an above ground vault or being repatriated to a different country or what the, her situation was of burial or cremation. And a lot of people will also use, like I say, a stronger uh, chemical. But the reason we have to have high percentages is vault burials in repatriation, send into a different country. And the bodies will go quite firm and hard because we're doing a percentage above four, four to six percent, which is really high percent because the normal average percent is about two, two to three is what I do in my mortuary for somebody that's just going home for a few days or being buried um, normally underground or just uh, the family for, you know, cultural or whatever reasons they want their person embalmed. And that's quite soft to touch, quite natural. Very, very soft, mm. yeah, very soft. And the chemical I use is quite a new brand and it's an Australian brand. I should always say what I use in my mortuary. Um, and it's a very, very soft and it's more environmentally friendly than they used to be. And the uh, result I get from that is really good. It's a really natural result. The colour's good and the uh, feel in the skin is really good. You get a really soft result. Now, vaults and repatriation, I have to go to that strong percentage with a stronger index. So if I'm doing soft, just going home for a night, I'll do an index of 20. Uh, in a percentage of two, just if they're going for one night. But if I'm doing a vault, a repat, I'll do an index of 35 and a percentage of four to five or even six percent. And the whole reason for that is because they have to stay preserved for longer because for longer, you can't yeah. have someone decomposing in an above ground vault because that's when you get the problems that we all have heard about on the news where yes. there's leakage and yes, stuff. That's exactly smells. right. Mm. So like I say, the stronger the index, the stronger the percentage, the firmer the skin's going to feel. And there is a product that's been out for years. And, well, there's a few products that have been out for years and these tend to be favoured, especially in America, because um, I haven't spoken to Genesis, who we spoke to before, and I've spoken to her at work as well. She even says that if the body doesn't feel hard, they don't think they've been embalmed. So, you know... In America, they like their bodies to feel really, really hard and firm. Just going to stop you there, Trace. Okay. Uh, have you seen that you can be a member of our channel? We have a crypt membership and we have a burial membership. So go check it out. There's lots of perks, including behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. So it's about the percentage and the strength. So that's why I would say your niece felt like that. It was just the strength of the solution and the percentage that they use. So the environment's the same. There's nothing... You know, when you go to a high percent, it, it may turn the skin slightly grey. This does happen sometimes. It goes grey because of the high percentage and the high volume that we use. So I tend to try and stay away from that as much as possible because then you've got to cosmetise over the grey, which is quite difficult. But sometimes you just can't help that, especially when it's a repat and somebody going to, um, in a, a vault. You just have to 
what we see is uh, the embalming has to come above, you know, what the person actually is going to look like because we have more to preserve. It's priority. Yeah, yeah, it has to be preserved and we can cosmetize. So that would be the reason why she probably felt like that. Just a firmer solution, a uh, higher index, and I'm sure she was embalmed exactly the same, cared for the same, and that's just why the skin feels a little bit firmer. And it would have either been just the embalmer's preference yeah. or um, a reason like she was going to be interred in an above ground vault or Absolutely. crypt or yeah. sent in a plane somewhere else or yeah. go home for a period of time and need to be preserved for longer. Yes, exactly Thank right. you. Thanks exactly for answering right. that. Yeah, that will not a answer problem. questions from quite a few people, I think. Yes, I think. I hope that helps you there understand uh, Thanks, why her Tina. skin is like that. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for you. being in touch. Yep. All right, guys, until next time. Yeah, take care. Safe. See ya. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.